How's it going everybody? It's Spooky News here and with one week left until flagship, today I am making this video to discuss all the rules and regulations for this year's upcoming Spirit Halloween event. This is for the people that are going. For the people that are not going, I guess feel free to click off this video or watch it if you're a fan. But I'm going to start discussing the rules and regulations for Spear Halloween's flagship 2024, along with a few rule changes that we have had this year for Spear Halloween flagship. So let's jump in. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so this is the top part of the website page before you scroll down to see all the rules and regulations. Grand opening celebration, Thursday, August 1st, Egg Harbor Township, New Jersey, 08234. Come one, come all. Join us on Thursday, August 1st to celebrate Spirit Halloween's flagship store grand opening. And then once you scroll down, this section will come up saying, the lineup starts at 7 a.m. with a special gift for the first 200 fans, meaning that the first 200 people that show up and get in line will get a swag bag. Now they've done swag bags every single year for these opening events. And folks, I am really hoping to get one this year. Lanyards and event exclusive Spirit Halloween swag bags will be given to the first 200 fans starting at 7 a.m. Line holding for lanyards is not permitted. Each attendee present in line will receive one lanyard and one swag bag while supplies last. For safety concerns, there is no camping on site, in line, and no overnight visitors allowed. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, camping has officially been banned for flagship from now on. Because obviously the last two years have been absolute hell with flagship and campers. And I'm surprised they let them camp last year. I thought they were going to ban that completely. But me personally, I'm actually glad that camping is banned because there's no point in camping out in the parking lot just to be first in line at the flagship store. Like, to be honest, all the animatronics are released on the website before the store even opens. Like, we just got all the animatronic demos now, and they're probably going to be in stock ready to ship very, very soon. So there's not going to be a whole Moran sack for the props this year like it was in 2022 because Spirit barely released their demo props demos for the props in 2022 and 2021 because they've been kind of slacking those two years so that is why that it's probably not a good idea to camp out because you're obviously not going to be the first in line well if you're lucky you can be the first in line but at the same time no you're not going to be that lucky person now on to your second segment on here the outdoor festivities begin at nine o'clock a.m the card evil begins at 9 a.m. with games, special prizes, entertainment, and food beverages available for purchase for local vendors after the festivities conclude at 12 p.m. On-site bathrooms and a hydration station will be accessible for the duration of this event starting at 9 a.m. So basically, the last couple of years, they've always done these events where they always host them beginning before opening happens. They pretty much bring out games, prizes, other entertainment, food and stuff, Chick-fil-A, and you have Bob Kelly on the DJ from Fox 29 News, and it's honestly a very fun time. Last year, they had the uh, the Butterfingers, and to be honest, those Butterfingers were kind of ass, not gonna lie. They actually just tasted terrible. They were not that good. Let's just hope they don't do the Butterfingers again, because that shit's ass. But anyway... All the events will be happening at 9 o'clock a.m. They conclude at 12 p.m., but I think everybody will probably already be in the store by the time 12 p.m. hits because it says here on the third segment, the store is opening at 10 o'clock this year, not 11 o'clock, which is different. The event Epcany will ask attendees to line up for entry at approximately 9.30 a.m., and attendees will be able to enter the Spear Halloween flagship store based on their lanyard number after the official ribbon cutting ceremony at 10 o'clock a.m. If you do not have a lanyard, you will be allowed to enter the store on a first come first serve basis after all participants with a lanyard. Entry with a lanyard begins at approximately 10 o'clock a.m. and the store will be open until 8 p.m. So after they let all the participants in, the store stays open. It's officially open now until 8 o'clock p.m. and it won't close until November 3rd. So yeah, that is basically what they do every single year. They do the grand opening and the store stays open until the end of October, early November when the 50% sale goes on. So sometimes I will come the day after the opening or two days after the opening to see the actual props without any interruptions and no crowds. Well, very minimum, minimum, it's medium crowds, but it's not 
jam-packed like it is on opening day. Like, guys, I've seen it. It is massively jammed packed in there and everybody was in there for like four hours because of the intense heat that we had last year and i think we're gonna get the same thing again this year it was extreme the heat last year like i felt like i was gonna freaking pass out on the floor like it was it was terrible and honestly flagship last year was a lot more fun because i last year's opening event was the day i started this channel that's why last year's grand opening was so special to me because it was the day I started doing this news channel and I wasn't expecting spooky news to hit 500 subscribers this year like I thought it was still gonna be stuck at 200 literally but anyway that's what's going on for the store opening time opens at 10 o'clock a.m. and you must line up at 9 30 a.m. to begin lining up in order so nothing gets confused so next year we have a map pretty much mapping out the whole Square of where Spear Halloween is. So, the part that I had just circled, that's the whole grand opening event in front of the store. The next two parts that I circled are where the bathrooms and the water station is going to be. And for parking, there are three yellow spots that you can do for parking. You have one right here in front of the parking lot in front of the Spear Halloween store. One in the back of the Spirit Halloween store, and you have a third one, not near the store, but it's right behind the Boscovs and the DMV for driving. And that's pretty much just mapping out the whole event to make things easier for new people and just people to help them out so they don't get confused the day of the grand opening. And it helps a lot with parking as well. Your final segment that you have here is no camping or overnight guests permitted. Now, camping has been a pain in the butt the last two years. This whole camping thing started in 2022. Then 2023, they got a little bit more stricter with it and people still got to camp. And now this year, it is 100% banned at all times. Pretty much saying if you do sleep in there, you could probably get fined or arrested. Maybe not all that, but you can get in big trouble for doing that. And the reason is, due to safety and health concerns, camping at Harbor Square is strictly prohibited at any time before and after the event. The earliest time attendees can arrive is before 7 a.m. on Thursday, August 1st, the morning of the event. Please plan accordingly. Overnight parking and camping are not permitted anywhere at Harbor Square, meaning there is no parking whatsoever allowed at Harbor Square. No RVs, no staying in the cars, no none of that. So pretty much the overnight fun at flagship will unfortunately not be happening. So my guess is the Hunters are going to be staying at hotels this year, which is probably a sad thing, but also a very good thing because people hate sleeping on the floor. A lot of people sleep in their cars because if you sleep on that concrete floor, man, is your back going to hurt as you stand up and your head too. Like, that is very uncomfortable, laying on the parking lot like that. And how can you sleep at night just laying on the freaking concrete at night? Like, that shit has to hurt very freaking bad. And, you know, last year we had that big thunderstorm the night before the event. And it was just crazy. Everybody was filming it and everybody had to like get out and go in their cars and try to go to bed. But people were, were pulling all nighters and stuff like that, which is honestly kind of fun. If I was allowed to camp out, I would have done that as well. But unfortunately, we will probably never see camping at Flagship ever again. So that pretty much does it for the rules and regulations of Flagship 2024. I get I'm a little bit late to the party, but you know, guys, I've been slacking on content very recently, and I can tell you why. I have just been getting very lazy with content this past summer because, you know, it's summer, I want to enjoy myself. But at the same time, I gotta give this Haunter community the news that it needs and deserves. Because that's what the community needs. It needs the news to help them out, you know, keep them up to date with the Halloween content. But I've just been getting lazy with it and people, some people gave me backlash for it because I still have not done the Lil Skelly Bully episode. I have still not done the Halloween Kid episode, which I don't know if I'm going to do. I'll, maybe, maybe. I'll try. I will try to fit that in. I really will. But guys, <laughs> people need a break sometimes. You know what I'm saying? 
that's probably why I'm going to take the next two weeks off in August. Just to enjoy my summer a little bit and just get a break from anchoring from a little bit. Just a little one. I'm tired of all the drama. I'm tired of exposing people. I'm not saying I don't enjoy it. I just need to relax a little bit. That's all I'm saying. But anyway, thank you for watching this video of me discussing the flagship rules. Remember to like and subscribe and make sure to comment and turn on your notifications so you know when I do another video, Spooky Ted episode, or Spooky News broadcast. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.